happy holidays. So I thought in terms of the festive season, I thought I'd make uh, a drink that I like to enjoy. Uh, it's a great combination of two things. So the first is the coffee side of it, and then we're going to mix it half with peppermint hot chocolate. And so together, you if you ever mix a steamed milk with coffee, that's called a misto. So when you add chocolate and peppermint to that, call it a peppermint mocha misto. So to get started, what are you going to need for this? So you're going to need some way to brew coffee. I prefer a French press. Uh, so for this, I'll show you in a second what you'll need for that. Then you're going to need your beans. So this is where you can have your coffee beans. Uh, it's whatever variety you like. Probably something a little on the darker roast side because darker roasts are going to complement chocolate good, better. Then a coffee grinder, unless you get it ground. Because I'm using a French press, grind it for a French press, so a coarse setting. And then your favorite little festive holiday mug. This one is a, you know, a cute little penguin with a uh, candy cane. But if you're, for the purpose of this video, I'll use a clear glass so you can see what I'm making. Then for the next part for measuring out things, you'll need a teaspoon and a scooping spoon. So I just have a kitchen spoon here. Next for the actual hot chocolate recipe. So you will need a medium saucepan or some way to heat this up, uh, whether that be in a steaming pitcher or on a stove top, like I'm gonna show you how to use that. So for that, we're gonna need is first brown sugar, some unsweetened cocoa powder. We have peppermint extract, vanilla extract, heavy cream to give it that thick creamy body, measuring cup, and then whatever milk of your choice. So if you like whole milk, non-fat milk, and non-dairy milk, like oat milk, that's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a cup to measure that out. All right, now it's time to make the coffee. So if you wanna make follow along using a French press, this is how I recommend doing it. So first you're gonna to wanna to weigh out or scoop out your coffee. So in this case, for coffee, I find that about 22 grams of coffee to this size French press. This is a 12 ounce French press. So then from there, right, you're gonna have 22 grams of coarsely ground coffee, or as I like to say, two and a half coffee scoops. Then you're gonna want 12 uh, ounces of filtered water. I find for a French press that if you heat up your water to 180 degrees Fahrenheit, or this temperature Celsius, that gives you the, the smoothest cup of coffee. Sometimes if you heat it up too high, like to a boiling, you get a little bit sharper flavor, but that's just what I recommend. Um, you can do this by monitoring with a thermometer. And then finally, if you need your coffee grinder, uh, just grind your beans and your coffee grinder. And with that, we'll get ready to make a cup of coffee. Time to make the hot chocolate. In a medium saucepan, heat one cup of milk on medium heat, then add three tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. One tablespoon of brown sugar, one tablespoon of heavy cream, two teaspoons of peppermint extract, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. All heating the milk mixture, mix it with a whisk, and once it begins to bubble and it's hot enough to drink, take it off of the burner. Now that we've made both the hot chocolate and the coffee, it's time to combine. I would mix equal parts of the peppermint hot chocolate with the coffee on top. I feel that this drink could be improved by topping with whipped cream or marshmallows or whatever else you want to add.
Now, doesn't that look better with whipped cream, marshmallows, and some chocolate sprinkled on top? Now it's time to taste. This drink is sweet, delicious, rich, and creamy, and perfect for the holidays. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Drop a comment down below. And finally, thank you for watching.